Time now for an update from Fox Carolina News and Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate. Good evening, I'm Cody Alcorn with your flash briefing. Governor McMaster is lifting the home or work order across the state on Monday. He's also allowing outdoor dining at restaurants. However, nothing else is opening at this time as far as statewide things go. However, in Greenville, Mayor Knox White did give the green light to open back up the Swamp Rabbit Trail in the city. However, Falls Park will remain closed. Taking web live right now to foxcarolina.com. We're looking at some other headlines right now. And you can see right next to the governor's big announcement, National Weather Service confirming an EF0 tornado touched down in Anderson County. This happened Wednesday night just outside of Sandy Springs. Fortunately, there were not any major damage reports there. Nobody was hurt, but of course, this follows the EF2 on Saturday in Greenville County. Then, of course, the outbreak we had back on April 13th. However, this weekend looking like we are not going to see any severe weather. In fact, we're hearing it's going to be a pretty nice one, uh, Kendra, and we're all looking forward to this because it's been a rough uh, couple of weeks yeah. around here. Last thing we need is more tornadoes, more severe weather, and it looks like that threat is going to be extremely low for about a week from now. So good thing we can enjoy a few days of some quiet weather tonight. 49 degrees, mostly clear, so it'll start chilly on your Saturday morning. Mid 40s for Western North Carolina. It'll be sunny on Saturday. We'll warm up on Sunday. Highs will approach the 80s after we see the 70s throughout Saturday. And the next week, about a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain into the early part of the week. The severe threat looks pretty low, but can't rule out some rumbles of thunder as storms pop up in the afternoon. You'll want to check in on the 10 o'clock news throughout the weekend and the morning news first thing on Monday morning. Be sure to download the Fox Carolina News app for much more.